Kayleigh Hall is best known for starring in Oh, so many things. Ashes to Ashes, Line of Duty, Bodyguard. And now she's taken on the role of Dr. Zellaby. Now, Dr. Zellaby is a child psychologist in the new drama, The Midwich Cuckoos, which is set to chill the nation. It hits our screens next month. Keely Hawes joins me now. So creepy and unsettling. I love the book. I remember reading the book as a kid and then seeing that the movie with George Sanders. Amazing. And um, this is a different take on it, though, because you're playing the character that he played. They've changed it so it's a woman, and I think it's all the better for it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Our version is 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 very different. Um, you know, it's a modern take, and um, David Farr's done a brilliant job. Uh, and I and I I mean, I read it, and actually, because I didn't know the story, it was just an amazing surprise to me. <laughs> I was like, this is really weird, really creepy. Um, and who doesn't love a, you know, creepy kids show? You're used to playing really, really interesting, strong women, but she's, I don't know, there's just something special about this one. Yes, yeah, and she's she's slightly different from the other women in, in Midwich. Susanna Zellaby, um, who I play, is a, um, a child psychologist, so she knows lots of the mothers in the town already. She, she deals, uh, that the, her patients are the children um, of Midwich. Um, and she moved to Midwich when her daughter was quite young, from London. Uh, and her daughter Cassie, who's played by um, the brilliant Sinerva Carlson, um, she has problems with, with addiction and, and mental health. And so it's, it's very difficult for Susanna because you know, she deals with, with, other ch with other people's children, she helps other people's children, but it's, she's finding it very difficult to help her, her own child. The child actors, the young actors, are I'm sure they were delightful in real life, but they were so scary. <laughs> <laughs> they were absolutely brilliant. Um, and our, our costume and makeup departments, I think, have done a phenomenal job because in our version, the children don't all look identical um, like uh, they did in the, in the original. They all sort of have their own personalities and they're kind of heightened versions of children of that age. But in order to, to, to create a sort of a unison amongst them, um, they're all wearing tiny pairs of false teeth because at, at the ages of the children that we, we were using, um, they, you know, they're, they're, lots of them are losing teeth, lots of them have got no teeth. <laughs> uh, and it, it was just a brilliant idea to, to bring them all together and make them look slightly odd. And it's not something that you, you necessarily notice right away, but you just know that there's okay. something that's not quite right. You mentioned children and animals, and of course the Durrells was a huge success. I loved that show. It just, I'm smiling now thinking about it. Oh. It was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I know. Wasn't it? I know, best? me too, me too. And it sort of had a lovely second life during lockdown too, yes. Um, yes. because uh, it was put out again on ITV. And so, uh, you know, and I think it was a perfect, it was perfect viewing for, for lockdown. And honestly, what a career you're having. It's fantastic. I mean, I remember you in Tipping the Velvet, which was brilliant. It's one of my favourite things that's ever been on the telly. And then Ashes to Ashes. You. And, you know, we had John Simpson in recently and he said that they're, they're doing a remake. Um, oh, there you are with Philip Glenister. I've got the biggest crush yes. on him, the biggest crush on Philip Glenister. <laughs> oh, any excuse, any thrilled. excuse to show, any excuse to show that. Um, it's wonderful. So they might, they might be doing, we reckon they're going to do Lazarus, which is going to be hopefully a remake. So that'll be, for, for us, who love it, that's going to be yes. really good, isn't it? Yes, or a sequel or, or yeah. something. I, I think so. I mean, I, I can't wait to see it. I, I think for me, um, the character of uh, Alex Drake, um, her story came to a very definite end. It did, um, yes. So I'm, I'm not sure it would make sense for me to be involved, but I'm very excited to see those two back in action. Do you know what? Talking about amazing shows yeah. that you were in, <laughs> Line of Duty, my goodness me, I honestly, you yes. were so good in that. You were unrecognisable. I mean, I, I didn't realise it was you for a while. But Thank that, you. again, what an amazing thing to, to, <laughs> to have done. And then to bounce from that into The Bodyguard. You know, obviously, Jed Mercurio wrote both of them. I do feel very lucky, and I was always very lucky to sort of have that relationship with Jed and, and be part of those shows, which were just, you know, the, the, the response to Bodyguard was, uh, I mean, unlike anything anybody could have predicted or expected, you know, you hope, you always hope that people will be captured by what you're doing, you know, and, and interested and, um, uh, but nobody could have 
could have predicted that. So it was really exciting. And Line of Duty, you know, it was a kind of slow build from that. Yeah. I, I came in in the second series and it was a, a slow build from that to becoming, you know, the phenomenon that oh, it... Yeah. That we all know. Your gorgeous husband, Matthew, who I have to say is playing a blinder yes. in succession as Tom. He's so ghastly that he's brilliant. You cannot stop watching it when he's on the screen. <laughs> Isn't he fantastic? When are you two going to be working together again or will you be? Are there, are there plans to work together again? Well, we will and we have and we've just wrapped on a show um, for ITV called Stonehouse. Um, which is a three-parter, hopefully out by the end of the year. Um, Matthew's playing uh, uh, a Labour MP. It's set in the 70s. It's a true story um, of an MP called John Stonehouse, yes. and I play his wife, Barbara. Um, and it's it's one of those stories that is just difficult to believe that it's it's true. It's it's all true, um, and he faked his own death. Yeah, I remember it very well. It's like Canoe Man. Yeah. In so a way. so Matthew's playing him, and I'm playing Barbara. Fantastic. Yeah. That would be really good. So, so yeah, that was great. I mean, it was great fun. We haven't worked together for a long time. And uh, and we just, you know, you never quite know how it's going to be. Um, uh, and and it was great. We we just had, we had a ball. And Matthew looks completely different. I mean, he, it's a, it's a real physical yeah. transformation. So it was sort of easier than I thought, you know, if, if he'd looked more like himself, it might have been more more difficult in a way, or if it's a modern piece, but actually his eye colour is different. He's got fake teeth in, he's got facial hair, he's got wigs. <laughs> me less so. There's no facial hair for me. <laughs> um, but uh, it's great fun. It's great fun. I can't wait for people to, to see it. Oh, that'll be fantastic. Thank you so, so much for talking to me this morning. It was a pleasure talking to you. And The Midwich Cuckoo starts on Sky Max and now on the 2nd of June. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.